sadly, every day I wake up from being knocked out from remote neural monitoring, I have a military helicopter fly over my apartment. Every day. Now, <clears throat> that would explain why there are so many people from the military in my old neighborhood. That would explain why some took um, part in hitting me with high EMF. For frequencies but everybody at this location I'm at in every place every adult knows what the fuck I'm dealing with. Everyone knows what I'm going through. And if, you know, if I'm lying, I'm dying. And I'm still sitting here talking. Everybody has done sold out from my last place to this place. For material possessions so that I can be tortured with frequencies and knocked unconscious with remote neural monitoring. And I do mean everybody knows. Now I wouldn't have rented here or wasted any of the money that I had. I had enough money to move anywhere I wanted. With my kids and me. I chose here because I thought that, you know, knowing somebody for a certain amount of years actually meant something. But apparently, the almighty dollar trumps everything, along with uh, people in government agencies acting under the color of law now it needs to be investigated wholeheartedly if the people at my last address were receiving gifts it said ship to but bill to someone else And then everybody was getting white envelopes with no return address. And the same shit happens to the occupants here. My mail was getting opened at the old address. And then somebody opened my mail here. I mean, you know... My name is different from most names. You know, nobody here has a name begins with an S, so. I think it's because my shopping cart had cameras in it. And they were trying to make sure that, you know, I didn't order cameras. That's just me. You know. 
I'm tired of being tortured. I went from a long ass time at one location, hit with high MF, frequencies, to remote neural monitoring, being knocked out outside, inside, as long as I was close to the house, I could be knocked out. So, if I was at my old house sitting on the steps, if I was on the steps outside of my old house, did you just hear that beeping? That's from the truck on the other side of that wall. No, no. Damn. Yeah. Alright, so... Everybody knows. If I were to be sitting on the outside steps of my old house, as long as I was close enough to the house, I could be knocked out. I could be sitting out there in a the chair and be knocked out. Inside, knocked out. Up there by that tree, can't do it. Now, at this point, it's 18 U.S. 241 and 242. Criminal conspiracy against another and hindering my rights under the color of law. And then using military-grade weaponry against a civilian. For a long period of time. Now I know that uh, intelligence agencies watch these, they watch all videos that are put up. I would really much like it if the Justice Department contacted me over these rights violations. I'm willing to take a polygraph test. A liar would not be willing to take a polygraph test. I've had break-ins, thefts. Sorry, I was lighting my black and mild because it's the only thing that calms me down. If it happened in one location, then it happens at this location. Blocks and blocks away. Eight blocks away. Roughly. Then, there's cooperation. Coordination. And, quite frankly... I'm quite sick of it. So if the Justice Department doesn't get back to me, I'll be calling you. It's every day I wake up helicopter over me. Now, I was just awake a little while ago. I went to the store. I was going to go to the school, but, uh, you know, the weather report said rain, steamy. I figured, nope. Started walking back to the house. Started to drizzle. I went in. Watched YouTube. Unconscious. 
Now there's somebody walking above me. Almost like they're in the attic. Everybody needs to be, everybody needs to have a polygraph test, or be questioned under oath, separately. Everybody gets a white envelope with no return address. I thought that was illegal to mail in the U.S. No return address.